All right, so this video is about adding a new table uh, for VPX and adding it to Popper. We're going to use Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as an example. What I did so far was uh, went to vpinball.com and then I typed in Harry Potter in the search wheel and clicked on this, which took me uh, to this page. Once you sign in, you can download this is just the VPX file there's no uh, beta s backlash file for this particular one because it, it uses a pup pack <clears throat> so you would download um, that file first and then uh, if you go to the installation tab copy this uh, link right here It'll take you to this, which is 2.86 gigabytes, which is a pretty good indication that it's a uh, pup pack file. And then um, that's just the VPX file by itself, which when you're using a pup pack, all you need is the VPX file uh, instead of a B to S direct B to S file as well. This particular table, I don't think it needs a a, uh, a ROM file or a script file. So you down that download that table, the VPX, and put it in your tables folder, which I don't have open at the moment, but it's okay. You just put it in the the tables folder. And then that pup pack uh, folder, the Harry Potter one, you put it in pinup system pup videos for your pup packs, which this is uh, the ex extracted uh, version. This is the file that you put in your videos folder. And I've already uh, done this portion, sort of. Um, already searched it, loaded up, and I've already arranged my pup displays so that I've got the uh, essentially a modified back glass section. Even though this is a four by three monitor, um, I changed the values so that this would essentially be widescreen and this would be the DMD portion. Give it a second to load up. And that looks great, right? So quit out of that. And uh, it's really that simple.